All right, guys, just a super quick update on where I am with these EVE 230 amp hour batteries. Um, as you see behind me, they are installed. All of the 18650s have been removed. So I am fully converted to lithium iron phosphate at this point. As of today, they have been installed in service for two weeks straight. There have been zero problems. They're absolutely solid. So it did take me about a day and a half to get them nicely balanced the top state of charge. Uh, so what I did to balance them the top state of charge is I just uh, floated them around 3.65 volts and then I connected my iCharger X6 to the two cells that were low. Um, two cells were low because I had used those in my previous video when I was testing these batteries in a 12 volt configuration. Uh, and then once the initial balance was complete, they are configured at this point to charge up to 3.50 volts. And I'll likely drop that down a little bit in the long run. I'm still kind of toying with the parameters and learning how lithium iron phosphate works and responds um, and how the charges respond as the voltage goes up. So that's still a work in progress. And I know it's a little bit dark in here, but as you can see, I do have them spaced out uh, 1 8 inch with a neoprene uh, tape strip, like I had mentioned in my previous video with these. So I have them uh, 16 wide here, and then they go 2 deep. So this is a 2P16S configuration, or 51.2 volts nominal. But you can see up here how I did the jumper configuration with the uh, bendable bus bars and my fuse leads come off. Everything's neatly tied up going back here. I have a little bit of work to do tidying up the wiring on the right hand side here, but uh, my Batrium Watchman core with K9 has been absolutely rock solid. No complaints at all there. Uh, now when I install these batteries, you'll see I do have the 3 quarter inch plywood with the angle aluminum and the threaded rod going through here. I didn't really tighten these nuts down. So I put this here really just to uh, fix the cells, not to compress them. So this is not exerting any compression. You can see how loose it is here. And I did test at 100% state of charge, and this was the same looseness. So I know these cells are not pushing each other out. They may be expanding, contracting a little bit where the foam is in there, but this battery pack as a whole is not expanding outward, uh, if that makes sense. The K9 comes with four temperature sensors. I just kind of stuck them on the side of the cells. I'll likely move two of the four sensors up to the terminals. Um, that way I can get a high and a low reading accurately. For right now, the main positive and negative are coming off. Going to some current connected bus bars. And then they enter into my control panel here. And as I add more strings, I do plan to add some fusing to that. Uh, the 280 amp hours are still sitting down here unconnected due to my concern with the bus bars. But the good news is I do have a solution worked out for these and it is working great. There'll be more information on that soon. I just don't want to uh, talk about that too much until I get all of the parts here. All right, so one thing I didn't mention is that I'm still trying to figure out ways to cover these terminals for safety. Uh, so I picked up this split, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's just like split insulation or split uh, wire wrap. And this is one inch in diameter. It does work pretty well. Um, I think I may try to find some three quarter inch because one inch is a little bit too big but that's what I'll likely be covering all of the exposed terminals with just for added safety. But yeah, all in all, I am extremely pleased with how these batteries came out. So some upcoming topics is, again, I'll be working with the 280 amp hours again, showing you the solution I found for that. I'll also be working more on the Batrium and how to control the uh, PCM60X charge controllers. That way the Batrium can shut them down in the event they uh, get stuck on or something like that. In addition to prevention from charging below freezing. And I also have a few more batteries I'll be testing and reviewing coming up soon as well. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. Uh, hit that like button before you go, and thanks for watching.